What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman, aka Allfires. Now you may have missed it, but a couple of days ago, a fan was taking photos with both Oscar Isaac and Mark Ruffalo at the same time. And considering Oscar Isaac's playing the lead, Moon Knight, in one of the upcoming Disney Plus series, this led to rampant speculation. Well, not often does this happen, but Mark Ruffalo himself weighed in and via Twitter with the story report about those photos and a not so cryptic message. We're going to break that down, leading to what is now confirmed to be from Mark Ruffalo himself, his second appearance in the upcoming Marvel Phase 4. And he even had a twist of phrase in there with the tweet that sort of made it sound like something huge was coming up. We're going to break down what he was referencing. It's in the past of the MCU and of course what this means for his upcoming appearances. Now the second confirmed one for Marvel Phase 4. We're breaking down everything in Mark Ruffalo's response to his Moon Knight cameo but first if you could grab the subscribe button we're still giving away playstation 5's weekly disney plus subscriptions and shang chi tickets every single day this week in fact we'll announce a new winner at the end of this all you have to do to be entered to win any of the giveaways hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below and if you want stick around to the end of the video we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there now in case somehow you missed it they were widely circulated these are the two photos that the instagram user caught both oscar isaac and mark ruffalo outside a hotel in budapest now budapest happens to be the primary filming location where they are filming Oscar Isaac's led Moon Knight for Disney Plus right now. You can see it's not obviously too much of a jump to assume that Mark Ruffalo must have a cameo in the show as Hulk or Bruce Banner, maybe even a couple of episodes. And as I mentioned in the prologue, even though this doesn't happen too often, Mark Ruffalo actually took to his Twitter just a couple of hours ago and linked to the report by Screen Rant on these two photos with this quote. As the person who's responsible for this next phase of the MCU, I would hate to spoil something, I've learned the hard way. Now, obviously, this is cheeky for a couple of reasons. Number one, he's linking the article from Screen Rant, which means if you haven't seen it, you wouldn't know about this. This is a wink and a nod to the fans. Indeed, the photo evidence is real. We already saw that he's in Budapest with Oscar Isaac. Obviously, he's in the show, so this really isn't spoiling anything. It's not a major giveaway that the photos didn't already give away, and obviously, it's a sort of a cheeky comment because he is sort of spoiling it. He's the one linking the article in the first place. Now, what he meant by responsible for the next phase of the MCU. Not that he's going to be an overall character or anything like that. What he's referring to is what happened to set the whole multiverse into this multiverse phase in the first place. That's obviously what we saw in the branch with Loki because they made him take the stairs. He's the one who got upset about it. He's the one who knocked Tony Stark back and let the Tesseract free. Obviously, we've all seen Loki. That's what leads to them defeating Kang and setting the multiverse free. So he's just saying from his point of view, he's very responsible for Marvel Phase 4 and what's going on. This is interesting. It's the second appearance now by Hulk in a Disney Plus show. We already know confirmed he'd be showing up in She-Hulk, which long before that confirmation, he had to. He's the one who's going to give Jennifer Walters the blood transfusion in the first place, and that would have been a little bit weird if they said that he did but didn't show that on screen. You kind of want to set that drama up for her origin story, so I figured he would have a cameo there all along. What he's doing in the Moon Knight show, however, no idea how he may be a part of that story. It's very interesting to see, though, that they are including him in all of these cameos and that he's willing to do it. We've already seen him on Disney Plus as well for the What If series, so this is really his third appearance counting What If as a canonical series, and this all leads back to a rumor and a report that we've reported on several times here at the channel. The rumor was that eventually Marvel at some point reassumed the rights for the Hulk from Universal alongside Namor. Now, that was never confirmed by Marvel, but later they would confirm they got the rights for Namor back. Still no word on Hulk, and that's why Hulk hasn't had a solo film since the first one we saw with Ed Norton. That rumor has lingered the entire time and has followed with multiple reports coming from different sources inside the industry that we would eventually get a second Hulk independent film. Now, a lot of fans, and this is well, well chronicled here at the channel alone, let alone in Marvel subculture, were super upset with what Marvel decided to do with Bruce Banner's character, turning the Hulk ultimately into Professor Hulk after Infinity War and giving us that as the final version, not really leading to a matchup with Thanos at all. And when it came to the final battle, very very little action. There were a ton of fans who said, hey, there are so many awesome versions, high-powered versions of the Hulk, you're not showing any of them. In fact, you're spending the MCU's first saga 
systematically depowering the Hulk instead of powering him up, but there is plenty of Marvel stories left to tell in Marvel Phase 4 and the future of the MCU. While Phase 4 may be winding down and coming to an end, Phase 5 and Phase 6 look crazier than ever, and one of those very high-powered versions of Hulk could possibly be on the way given all of these reports as you know a solo hulk film as interesting as it would be with professor hulk still would give us the opportunity for something i said marvel could never miss out on if they had the chance and they do now hulk versus wolverine the way it was introduced in the comics and the perfect opportunity to do that would be another hulk solo film but if the Hulk is still Professor Hulk and not a different version of his character or on the way to becoming one of the fan favorites like Heart of the Monster or say Worldbreaker Hulk, shoot, if he's not just back to a savage green Hulk, well then Wolverine versus Professor Hulk is not going to be the thing that we thought it would be in the MCU and go down the way that I, speaking for a lot of you, would want to see it. But there is hope, and I want to point out something that's happened several times over the last couple of years. I know I've mentioned it in a couple of the videos where I've asked you guys to hit the subscribe button. I said I've been doing this every day since before Infinity War. Several Comic Cons following Avengers Endgame, Mark Ruffalo was asked point blank by fans in the crowd what he would most want to see out of another solo Hulk film. Well, the first couple of times he answered, he said something along the lines of, I want to see how Bruce Banner worked it out with the Hulk and became Professor Hulk. And that was basically met with crickets in the crowd. Well, more recently, he said stuff like Hulk vs. Wolverine. There you go, Mark. That's what the fans want to see. So you know he's listening and you know Marvel's listening too. And with the rights back to both of these characters, it's all I can hope for in an upcoming phase or film to see these two finally go off against each other. And the MCU has an opportunity to introduce Wolverine in the way he never was on the big screen, the way he was introduced in Hulk 181 facing off against the Hulk. Guys, let me know. All your thoughts down below, reaction to this. How hype are you for all of these Hulk appearances? Which version of the Hulk would you most want to see in the future of the MCU, assuming they don't stay with Professor Hulk? And do you agree with my summation of the Infinity Saga where they just spent their whole time depowering him and that's not what the fans wanted to see? Let me know all your thoughts down below. Quickly, let's jump into that giveaway stuff again before I let you go. Okay. First up, we're still giving away two PlayStations, one at 900,000 subscribers, which we are headlong into, could hit by month's end or next. We are also giving away weekly Disney Plus subscriptions, and this week alone, we're giving away tickets to go see Shang-Chi every single day. In fact, let's announce a brand new winner now. Robert, for this comment here, it's pizza time. I've gone ahead and subscribed to your account. Congratulations, all you have to do, either DM me on Instagram or go ahead and hit me up on the email on the about section of my channel. That's again, if you're the winner. I had a bunch of random DMs yesterday who just sort of heard that at the end of the video and hit me up. If you won, go ahead and DM me on Instagram or email me. I'll verify your account and get the tickets right out to you guys. It's that easy. All you have to do to be entered the giveaways, make sure you hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below because it's truly random. More videos you comment on, better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos the way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name is Michael Roman. You can find me over on Twitter and Instagram at I am Fires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, wherever you listen to original music under the name All Fires. Thanks for checking out the channel, guys, and stick around. We'll be posting again real, real soon.